Welcome to Moon Garden. My name is Abigail and today I'm going to show you how to make tofu stir fry with sugar snap peas and pea shoots. I found both star ingredients, the sugar snap peas and the pea shoots, harder to come by this year, so I have a lot of options to provide you. The best alternatives are snow peas and microgreens. I've been using a firm tofu for this recipe and then cutting it into rectangles. It's easy to cut the tofu evenly when you break it down in segments, cut it in half and then cut it in half again. And now we can make our rectangles. You'll want to add the tofu to a mixing bowl and please choose a bigger bowl than I did. I only chose it for aesthetics, but then you'll just repeat the process again. Make your marinade starting with 80 mils or one third cup of gluten-free soy sauce. Here I'm using amino acids. Pour it over the tofu. Next, add two teaspoons of white rice flour. You can sub arrowroot or cornstarch, just sprinkle it over. Then peel and grate some ginger. If you don't have a grater, chop it as finely as possible. Add one tablespoon to your marinade. There will be more chopping for the marinade, so I will tell you that you can put all the marinade ingredients into a Ninja mixer or a blender, and that's also a good alternative. Garlic will add a depth of savory flavor. You will need six cloves. Peel them and dice them finely. Pour one tablespoon of sesame oil over the mixture. We need a sour element for balance, so add 60 mils or one fourth cup apple cider vinegar. You can also use rice vinegar. Last but not least, our dish needs some heat. I've been using small dry chilies, but I know those cannot be easily found, so use chili flakes instead, or even a fresh bird's eye chili. Add one teaspoon of dried chili flakes or to your taste. Stir everything together and like I said before, use a bigger bowl than I chose. Put it to the side to marinate or put it in the fridge for a few hours or overnight. Next, the star of the show appears, the crunchy peas. I take kitchen scissors and snip the pokey tip off. On medium-high heat, add one tablespoon of high-temperature oil like avocado oil. When it comes to the peas, I'm going to give you some options in the recipe description below. If you would like a lot of grain in your recipe, then use a higher amount of peas. Sugar snaps can be pretty tough at times, so I use a two minute cooking guide to begin with. Test one of the peas if it's still too crunchy, cook a little bit longer until there's just a slight give. Set them aside in a platter or in a bowl where you will add the other ingredients as you stir fry them next. Add one more tablespoon of the high temperature oil for the tofu. Add it in stages. Here I take one third of the tofu and I try to drain off as much of the marinade as possible in order to brown it. Cook for about two minutes or until lightly browned. Adjust the heat slightly if it gets a little intense. Add to the peas and continue the process until all the tofu is used. Reduce the heat to medium and now add the marinade. And then to that, add 125 mils or one half cup of water. Don't worry if there are bits of the marinade stuck to the pan, it will deglaze. Reserve a small handful of the pea shoots or microgreens to add to the top of your finished dish. 
but the rest of them should go into the marinade and wilt slightly. Stir for 30 seconds or a minute so that the sauce thickens and the grains blend in. Carefully pour the sauce over top and then gently with two spoons mix everything together. Because the color of the peas are so brightly green, I like to lift as many of them to the surface as possible. I've been making this recipe a lot this spring, and in this particular version, I have a lesser amount of peas to tofu. You can serve it as it is, or with some plain jasmine rice. It looks quite cheerful on a set table. I think my ultimate setting to eat this dish would be outside. On this particular night, we just had a gentle and refreshing rain, so everything was especially green. It was a cool, crisp evening after a long day, and I just really enjoyed myself and was able to relax. A little visitor came by to have dinner with me too. And then another visitor came by just to see how I was doing. I hope if you try this dish, it will also give you a magical evening.